What's going on YouTube family? Hey, I had to insert this at the beginning because I went back and watched the video. So I just need to say that the message of this video is at the end of the video because I was just kind of flown with the spirit. Um, so stick around till the end and please like, share, and subscribe um, if you are new here. But like the video. Let's get this message out to who it is intended for. Now, I didn't intend for the message to be at the end of the video. It just ended up like that. So this is not like propagandized or whatever that's called. But I needed to insert this other little part at the beginning to let you know. Okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs> What's going on, YouTube family? This is Leah Boone with Monarch Ministry. Welcome to the channel. If you're new here, welcome. If you're returning, what's going on? You know... The Lord has been showing me forgiveness a lot. And I perceive that there is um, a situation arising, a relationship with someone where um, forgiveness is going to be required. And um, you need to guard your heart as well. You know, I love that the Lord sends these constant reminders of these things because sometimes we're blindsided by things and, you know, our first reaction isn't forgiveness, you know, and, um, that's why the Lord is so faithful to send us these constant reminders of, of these very fundamental principles of the kingdom. He led me to, um, this is like last week. I haven't posted because the attacks were like off the chart. I couldn't deal. I couldn't deal. It was horrible. But um, by the grace of God, I've been set free in the name of Jesus. Today was, it was all right. I kept, kept waiting for like something else to have. I was like, and it, it was okay. It was, a, you know, but um, there's been a lot of people praying and um, that fast yesterday worked. God is amazing. I was like, do I need to do another three-day fast? And he's like, 24 hours. And I just felt in my spirit. He was like, I, I don't need three days. I can do it in 24 hours. He was, he was fighting. He was doing the fighting. He just wanted me to fast. He wanted us to fast together um, as, a, as a body. That's why he showed me um, to ask y'all to fast. And so, praise the Lord. Um, I pray that y'all have peace today. And the Lord has set you free from those attacks in the name of Jesus. Because they, were, they have been really intense. And I was just like, Lord! You know? Um, but he is faithful, y'all. So, if the Lord has set you free from the attacks and um, today was a good day for you and Jesus and you have found newfound strength in the Lord, comment below what the Lord has done for you today in the mighty name of Jesus. So, forgiveness. He led me to Matthew chapter 5 to this section, chapter, it's verse 38. I'm just going to start at verse 38. It's go the second mile and love your enemies. So you have heard that it was said, an eye for an eye, a tooth for a tooth. But I tell you not to resist an evil person. But whoever slaps you on the right cheek, turn the other to him also. I love it when Jesus says, but. There's always a but. It's like this, but. There's always a but. Because it's never just one, you know, thing. There's always, a, but you, you know, this is true, but it, 
always. And it's good. Um, if anyone wants to sue you and take away your tunic, let him have your cloak also. That's difficult to do. It's difficult. It's a process. But, you know, when the situation arises, when, um, that's when you know you've really had, um, transformation is when those kinds of situations present themselves to you in your life. And it's a test. It's a test. You know, God wants to see what you're going to do in that situation. Been there. I don't remember what the exact example was, but you can tell that you have had transformation in your heart and in your spirit when you can face situations like people persecuting you or people coming after you or people um, constantly um, asking you for stuff, you know, and you give more than what they asked for. I just thought of something. You need to use your discernment. You need to use your discernment because um, the enemy also sends people. And um, sometimes they don't even know that they're being used. They don't know. Um, they don't know. And so it's important for you to use your discernment in every situation. Uh, verse 41 says, And whoever compels you to go one mile, go with him too. Give to him who asks you. And from him who wants to borrow from you, do not turn away. I'm kind of like facing that kind of situation um, right now you know, with my son and everything, because we moved together into this place, and it was a really hard decision for me, because um, I've changed my life so completely, and um, Caden has not come to the Lord fully yet. And this is something I've really been praying for. I was praying for my daughter and for him. Um, but he didn't have anywhere to go. He didn't have a car. He lost his job. And um, that's my son. And so I'm going to help him. You know? It's... That doesn't mean it's not frustrating. <laughs> that doesn't mean that I have to be careful. You know what I'm saying? That's your that's your kids. Anyways. <laughs> He's 25 years old. We've had some hard years. You have heard that it was said, you shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies. Bless those who curse you. Do good those to those who hate you. And pray for those who spitefully use you and persecute you. The first thing I think of here is family. You, I mean, y'all can insert wherever into your life, but I, I have been so isolated that I don't really have any friends, you know, well, you know how it plays out into your own life. 
That's all I'm going to say. That you may be sons of your Father in heaven, for he makes his sun rise on the good and on the evil and on the good. And sends rain on the just and on the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what reward have you? Do not even the tax collectors do the same. Once again, you have to love them. You don't have to be around them, but you do need to forgive them. And, um, love them from afar. Um, I heard the Lord say, oh, what did he say? He said, bury the hatchet. So I don't know who that is for. It hasn't happened for me. I haven't had anybody come back into my life that I need to bury the hatchet with. Except for, you know, some family members. But um, he said bury the hatchet. That's for somebody. Bury the hatchet is a saying. Let me, let me, um, uh, to stop an argument and become friends again. To stop an argument and become friends again. That's what it means. That's the definition of bury the hatchet. Forgive spiritual maturity. Make amends. Use discernment. Move forward with the Lord's blessing. That means you need to seek the Lord before moving forward in any um, relationship, in any connection. You need to be very careful. Very careful. Use your discernment. So, this is a word of warning and... Um, It's really a word of warning that you need to forgive. I don't know if somebody has been holding a grudge against someone um, that the Lord is saying, bury the hatchet. That's the message. I'm just now getting this. Someone's been holding a grudge against somebody and the Lord is saying bury the hatchet stop the argument and become friends again so I don't know who this word is for it's not it's not my word I'm not arguing with anyone well I have kind of I've kept people at a distance and you know within my family just because so much stuff has happened and I'm like I'm just keep a close eye on things you know use your discernment but the Lord is saying move forward with spiritual maturity and make sure that you're asking him about these things this word is not for everyone let me just say that right now this word is this word cannot be for every. This is not for everyone. This is very specific. Bury the hatchet because the Lord is not going to send everyone back to a friendship. But there is somebody that needs to bury the hatchet. You need to forgive. You need to stop holding a grudge. Forgive them. They're obviously. Um, the Lord is saying, you know, it's okay to move forward. You need to, um, stop the argument and become friends again. So I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Once again, I don't know who that word is for, but it's for somebody, but don't just take, you know, this word and apply it to any situation. Please do not do that because this is a time where we need to be 
very discerning and who we're letting in our circle. You need to be really careful about that. But there are times, there are times when the Lord is going to be like, yes, forgive them, make amends, you know, and that's beautiful. I mean, the Lord is not telling everybody to stay away from everyone. I mean, that's all prophetic word I hear is, you know, oh, you're being separated. You don't need to be around these people. And that's all I've heard for years. Very seldom do I hear the a prophetic word where the Lord is like, you know, you need to forgive and um, make amends with somebody. So that's very interesting. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for love and, and, and um, friendship and fellowship. It has been a uh, thing in the spirit that we need to be in fellowship. We need other believers within the body of Christ to walk with us on this walk. And I'm like really um, trying to do that because it, it gets difficult when the warfare gets really bad. Yes, Jesus is always there. But it helps when two are together, where two are gathered together in my name. I am in the midst of them. I think that's how it goes. But when two are gathered in my name, there's power in numbers. So take this word back to the Lord. And this is going to be a confirmation for you because you are in a situation right now where you know you've been holding a grudge. God is saying forgive. Walk with that person. Make amends. It's okay. But you've been asking the Lord about this. You, you, you've been asking the Lord for, for confirmation. But take it back to him in prayer anyway. And use your, use your discernment. People of God, use your discernment. This word is very specific. It's for someone. Okay, I love you all so much with the love of Christ. If you would like to bless this ministry, um, there is information in the description box below. Um, and I am so grateful for each and every one of you that have um, been sowing into the ministry. I pray over everyone's tithe and seed um, that comes in every single time when it comes in. I pray over it and I pray that you are blessed a hundredfold in the mighty name of Jesus Christ because God is so good and I am so um, grateful to the Lord because he has shown me that this um, principle of sowing really works. Um, you know, I didn't really, I didn't know what it was before I started this journey, but the Lord, um, led me down a path, you know, where he was asking me to give to this person, to give to this person. And, um, you know, you do it with a cheerful heart and, and then he would like multiply it to show me that he really is serious about these things. So I just, I just know that the Lord will bless every single one of you who have sowed into this ministry. Um, if you want me to pray for you, please send me an email at monarchministry707 at gmail.com. And um, if y'all have any questions, the, a question you would like to ask me or something you would like me to address, this is something that the Lord just dropped in my spirit like yesterday. Um, I will take it to him and um, I will post about it in the name of Jesus if if that's what the Lord is leading me to, to do. Um, 
but please contact me. I would love to be in touch with you. I would love to um, be friends with you. I would love to, I love you guys. I love you guys. You guys have been such a huge support for me through this. And um, I just can't thank Jesus enough. Jesus is so awesome and so mighty and powerful and wonderful. I just, I'm so grateful. I am so grateful for each and every one of you. I love you all so much with the love of Christ. Y'all have a blessed Tuesday in the name of Jesus. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.